Donegal GAA. Donegal LGFA. Our message? This same. Respect one. Respect all. We, we all love, love this game. Every country. Every person. Every coat. Every game. Respect one. Respect all. Let's make this our end. Our oh, referee, come on. That was a shocking decision. That was terrible. Outrageous. Respect one. Yeah, welcome along everybody to Chaconnell Park here in Donegal Town. The sun is out, a huge crowd in for this local derby as it is the first of the quarterfinals in the Michael Murphy Sports and Leisure Senior Football Championship here in Donegal. Local rivals, Kiltar taking on Kelly Beggs. Kilcar coming at, into this encounter, finishing second in the group stages, while Kerry Beggs had an impressive group campaign, finishing on a seventh position, winning three games and losing on the road against Neve O'Connell. Watching this one with me today is St. Noel's joint manager, Brian McCabe. Brian, a huge crowd for this one. What sort of an encounter are you expecting? A uh, huge crowd, Kier. Come here. You're probably at this stage you would fancy Kilkar, but come here, see Kelly Beggs went through their, through their warm up there, and they see, see, really seem to be up for it. So, come here, conditions are ideal here, so just hope for a good game, Kier. Kilkar coming into this one in the back of four victories. Victories over Milford, Ardra, Clohanilly, and Bondorn. As for the fishermen of Kelly Beggs, they defeated Glen Fan the first day. A defeat to Neve Connell, and they beat Clohanilly along the way as well. Starting off with the teams, Kilkar showing two changes from that side that was named on the programme. Barry Shovelin comes in instead of Owen Dugan, and number 24, Daniel Lyons, comes in instead of Darrell O'Donnell. So Kevin Campbell takes his place between the sticks. Porrick Carr, Brian O'Donnell captains a team of three, and in form Ryan McShane wears a number four jersey. Ryan McHugh, Andrew McLean and Barry Shovelin make up the full half-back line. Kieran McGinley and Jason Campbell are at midfield. Owen Cormick, 
Conor O'Hardy and Owen McHugh, Daniel Lyons, Paddy McBurdy and Mark McHugh-Bain. Yeah, come here, Kilkyar. The Daniel Lyons one's probably a wee bit of a rare move there. I don't think Daniel's going to play in the, in the corner forward, but bar that, it's more or less along the lines that you would expect here. Yeah, and the, today's opposition, Kelly Beggs, of course. The managing is Anthony O'Hara. He's in his first year at the helm. He has Barry McGowan and Manus Boyle, two club legends, two Donegal J legends, and the backroom team as well. They have one change from that team named in the programme, number 25, Darren McLean. He comes in instead of Charlie Breslin at number five. Corey Bourne, the former county minor goalkeeper, he's in goals for Kelly Beggs. Seamus Ogborn, Tilly and Kilday, and Ryan Carr. Darren McLean wears 25. Owen Band. Gallagher wears number six and his brother John Ban wears number seven. Evan Broderick and Ryan Collier make up the midfield. Sean Gorrell, Jack McSharry and young Christopher Mulligan, he wears 12. Ryan Cunningham, the main man for Killy Beggs, Q McFadden wears 14. And Connor Cunningham, he has been in form of late as well. He wears the number 15 jersey. Yeah, Kelly Beggs there, more or less along the same lines as we expected. Kieran, probably the big one for Kelly Beggs. Who's going to pick up Paddy McBerty? I think it's going to probably be Seamus Ogburn. I'd be surprised if it's anyone else. So I think Kieran is kind of ready to go here. So. Yeah, a huge crowd in for this one. A huge welcome everybody here at Chicago Park in Donegal Town. Kieran Cannon is in commentary. Judy's Brian McCabe, he's on COCOM. And a huge thanks as well to John Smith for his professional and calm approach as always. A huge, huge crowd in for this one. It's a local derby. Before we talk about the game, Brian, what about the 12, 12 midday throw in time? What's your, what's your opinion? Come here is probably early for players and that. You know, players normally have their own routine, but for come here to get all the games on the county board, probably decided to kind of keep them all the side of the gap today so, so one team was always going to go early but it's probably hard for players gear you know boys are probably used to playing three four o'clock during the day but it's probably something new but i don't think it'll bother the winners here today so on the road here to Donegal Town, Donegal Town this afternoon, a huge traffic, it was great to see the boss, but on the road to the quarter-final, Kilcar, they played four games, opening up against Mumford, 2-18 to 1-6, then they headed for Kilcar a week later, Clohan Lee 7, Kilcar 19 points, Ardra came to Towny, a depleted Ardra team, 2-23 to Kilcar, 1-12 to Ardra, and Kilcar, um, the rest of the number of the big guns, including Paddy McBurdy and Kieran McGinley, headed for Bundorn, uh, Peter, Peter McIntyre's side 3-11 and uh, Kilcar rather 3-11 Bondorn uh, 2-15 on, uh, on that one Bondorn 3-11 Kilcar 2-15 on that one so Kilcar coming in scoring 6-75 in four games and conceding five goals and 36 points Kelly Beggs as I say they beat Glen Finn the opening day 2-13 to 113 then they headed for David Brennan Memorial Park defeat on that occasion 9 points to 112 they, they then hosted Mulford 113 to Kelly Beggs 7 points to Mulford and they had an impressive victory on the road 312 to Kelly Beggs Clough nearly 13 points Kelly Beggs Brian scoring 647 in 4 games 245 they conceded Q McFadden is going to take Mark and Brian yeah come here Watson against Kelly Beggs or against Clancy sorry Kieran and he, he was very very good he's in great shape but he seems to be leading it. he seems nearly to be the player manager on the field he seems to be talking even players through it so come here he's an outstanding player and hopefully he'll have a big game here again today and I think we have a minute of silence here now in Chaconnell Park in Donegal Town Seamus Mc, McGonagall from the Aurora Club he's the man in the middle for this big encounter
Yeah, and as all systems go here, the national anthem is beautifully sang there. Kitty Beggs in the pre-match huddle. The man in the middle is Seamus McGonagall from the Avery River Club. His club man, Val Murray, is patrolling the sideline. And on this near sideline, it is Shane Tulin. Um, huge crowd in for this one. Sun is out. And as I say, it's all a systems goal. Um, right, for right, this yeah, encounter, yeah, Kitty, yeah. We're, we're reporting here from the stand side in Donegal Town, and uh, Kitty Beggs are attacking from left to right. Corey Bourne takes his place between the sticks. Kilcar, they are shooting into the what I would call the road, the town end goals here in this famous venue. Um, Keep an eye on the matchups there, Brian. It, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, big one. Own band seems to be going on parry. So Kelly Beggs have set out their set. Jack Mishari's gone to the edge of the square for Kelly Beggs. And big Q start in the middle of the field on Kieran McGinley. And here we are on the way here in this big encounter. Kelly Beggs against a kill car. As it's Kelly Beggs attacking well done there by Andrew McLean. Kieran McGinley on the ball, far side of the patch, halfway line, looking to break into the Kitty Beggs, half of the field. Welcome along if you've just joined us here live on Donegal GA Facebook, Chuckonnell Park, Donegal Town, the first of the quarterfinals this weekend. Owen McHugh to Kieran McGinley, does he have options? He has to go back to Ryan McHugh, the 28-year-old, made his county debut against Down in the 2013 National Football League. Jason Campbell, Campbell, back to McHugh. Ryan McHugh sprays it across to, I think it's Andrew McLean. Remember, two changes in the Kilcar side. Barry Shovelworth, 25. He's in for, he's in for Owen Dugan, and Daniel Lyons is in for Dara O'Donnell. Andrew McLean, Mike McHugh. Kelly Beggs making it difficult for for, for Kilcar. Yeah, they have 14 clear. bodies back. Right? Kelly Beggs are playing with 14 men behind the ball. They seem to be happy to let Kilcar have the ball in certain areas. Owen Cormick. Cormick a real fine this year's league in a professional league campaign. Three points this year's championship so far. A judge to overcarry the ball on this occasion and it's the first three that he goes to the fishermen. Yeah, it could be here. It was maybe a wee bit harsh of a call there, but Seamus McGonigal over judge that he overcarried the ball. So Kelly Beggs will be happy with the way things have started. John Barn to Seamus Ogborn. What a great championship we have so far today. 22 great work from Jason Campbell from Kilcar. Mark McHugh cleaning up. And it's a free out for Kilcar on this occasion. And Jason Campbell getting a vital touch there, Brian. Yeah, big tackle there because Seamus Ogg was kind of half through there. Yeah. But Kilcar in the tack here now with Con Connor Dock. Connor Doherty. 45 yards from goal. Doherty, far side of the pitch, taking on two Kitty Beggs defenders. We will be looking for an option. He has one on Andrew McLean. Andrew McLean getting on a lot of ball in the opening two minutes. McLean to Kieran McGinley. McGinley driving forward as we have seen him so many times before in the blue and gold of Kilcar. Paddy McBurdy, will we see the famous loop? McBurdy, out to, out to his wing half back. That's Ryan McHugh's county teammate. He is a runner on his brother, Mark, the oldest of the McHugh brothers in the team today. Back to Andrew McLean. McLean, looking up. Does he have an option inside? Jason Campbell, three in the side of the pitch. Gives it to Ryan McHugh. Daniel Lyons, a great league campaign. Struggled with injury at the beginning of the championship. Got a decent run out against Bondorn. Owen McHugh to... Is that Ryan McShane up there? Made number four on his back. Ryan McShane, of course, going 1-6 this year's championship. Conor Doherty to Paddy McBurdy looking for the first score. Daniel Lyons with a left boot. And it goes out to the left and wide. And Brian McCabe, we have two minutes and 57 seconds on the clock. What have you made of the opening three minutes? I come here, it's very defensive here at the minute. Here, Kelly Beggs will be happy enough. Get Kilkiar really, they're not really seem to be playing with much pace about them at the moment. But I think Kelly Beggs will be happy enough the way they've started here. Corey Bourne with a kick out. Kieran McGinley is there. Hugh McFadden's out. Beautifully collected there by McGinley. He puts it in quick to Conor Doherty. Doherty, the former county on the red star. Gives it to his team captain of Brian O'Donnell. Brian O'Donnell, solo to the right, solo to the right again. T and that looks good from here. It's just off the post. Who is there to react the quickest? Is it Owen Cormick? Kelly and Kilday, good work. And it looks like Ryan McHugh to clean up possession. Kilcar having a lot of the possession in the opening three and a half minutes, but that's all about the scoreboard. There's still no score. Three and a half, as we approach the fourth minute, Kieran McGinley, will he try one from the right foot? Yes, he will. That's a good score from Kieran McGinley. And I make it Kieran McGinley's in. 
It's Kieran McGinley's, uh, he's won six coming into today, that's another point, so it's Kilchow won, Kenny Beggs no score. Yeah, brilliant score there by Kieran McGinley, he fetched the ball there in the middle of the field to set that up. Uh, Kieran McGinley, probably at the minute, the, the, the main man for Kilchow, uh, Kieran. Driving forward threat, he played County under Declan Bona and Rory Gallagher. 33 years of age, Lady Kenny Bass Garda. McGinley is up again. Corner to hurry. Yeah, could hear McGinley taking a big hit there. Seems to be yeah. a better baller. Down on the ground as play continues on. Kieran gets up now. Daniel Lyons. Mike McHugh. He sprays it forward here in the halfway line to Andrew McLean. McLean. Played County Championship in 2021 to Owen Cormick. Cormick. Closely marshaled by Kelly and Gilday. Out towards <coughs> Owen McHugh. McHugh, the right foot solo, 45 yards. Son of James McHugh, of course. Owen McHugh. Back towards, I think it's uh, Ryan. Ma Ryan, yeah, Ryan McHugh. Left forever from Ryan McHugh. Brilliant score. And it's Kilchow's second score. Ryan McHugh, a great score off the left foot. Five minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Kilchow, two up, right? Yeah, come here, great score there by Ryan McHugh. Owned and really good work. Suck Kelly Beggs in. And Ryan kicked it with the left there. So Kilchow seemed to be patient on the ball, getting the right man on the ball there. So brilliant score, brilliant. Kelly Beggs going short of the kick out this Ryan Carr feeling to clear position. Paddy McBrady with the left foot. It's Paddy McBrady's first score of the afternoon. If Kilcar is toured, it's a three point game. And the last two minutes or so, Kilcar is certainly coming into it. Yeah, big turnover there on the kick out. Kilcar put real pressure on the kick out. And Paddy just, as Paddy does, just with left foot over the bar. Seamus McGonagall noticed something that we didn't notice. Just having a wee quick word. I'm not too sure who it is. Is it Q McFadden or Brian O'Donnell? But. The goal kick, Kelly Bates going along with the first few kickouts and went short with the last one. Long again, Hugh McFadden is up with Ryan McHugh up there as well. But that's the half forward for Kelly Beggs driving forward. Christopher Mulligan, the county under 20 man. He's still underage next year. To Evan Broderick, also a talented soccer player with his hometown club St. Catharines. Broderick taking on Daniel Lyons. Brilliant turnover Great over defending, again. Andrew McLean and Daniel Lyons working so hard. And it's a free to Kilcar as Barry O'Hagan and Conor Cunningham encourages on his trips. The yeah, yeah, Lions is getting on a side of all here for Kilcar. He seems to be work, um, kind of playing a free role there, but he's, I think that's maybe his third turnover there he's won, Kieran. Yeah, Ryan Mc, uh, Kieran McGinley on the ball. He's sh shrugged off that injury, breaking into the Kilibags half of the side, side of the field. McGinley, who does he have in an option? Is it Daniel Lyons? No. Decides to use Patrick McBurdy, Super McBurdy, Paddy McBurdy, 45 yards out, left foot solo. Owen Cormick getting in a lot of ball. Good to see the young man getting in the ball in this early stage. It's another young man, that's Daniel Lyons, an Ulster Championship minor winner in 2016. Well, Johnny Gall, Mike McHugh. Far side yeah, of the pitch. Play with 15 men inside their own half at the minute there, Kieran, you know, it's... They really seem to be just, I don't know what they're trying to do here, but they seem to think the Kilkiar are going to, you know, they're three points down, they're going to have to come out, you know, and play a bit of football here. Yeah, maybe, I, I was quoted saying during the week the blanket defence stage is over, but obviously not. Ah, no, they come here, they've really gone really defensive here at the moment. Every man's inside their own half. Uh, that's a big By hit Shilman, there. a big hit, a big hit from Shima Zog. Yeah, Born. I think that's going to be for Shilman certainly felt that one. And... Almost certain of a yellow, a, a big hit there, Brian. Aye, but I don't know. I don't know. I think he, in fairness to Seamus Ogburn, I think he, I think he didn't. I think he more stood up to tackle than anything. His hard yellow, my first eyes yellow there, of the day uh, is to Seamus Ogburn. As Kilcar Fazio, Evan McSwinney, see his bias shoving okay to continue, and he is Paddy McBurney has the ball in the hand. 50 yards out, left foot goes quick. Ryan McHugh, can we'll Paddy get the return pass? Yes, he will. Back to Mike McHugh, or oh, Daniel Lyons, sorry, Lyons to Owen Cormick, Kieran McGinley, back to Parry Carr, McKenna Cup appearance in 2013, to Mike McHugh, lovely pass across the pitch, Kilcar having so much time in the ball, yeah, around the middle. Kilcar just seemed, they're, they're just really patient, they're from one side of the pitch to the other, they're just waiting for the opening to come here, and they're playing the game in their terms. And the big thing about Kieran, all their big players are getting on the ball. Ryan's on it at the moment. Mark's getting on it. Paddy's getting on it. There you Ryan go, Ryan McHugh. McHugh. Left foot, edge of the day. 
I make a Kilkar second wide on the scoreboard. It's Kilkar three. It's Killybegs no score. Nine minutes in the clock behind the game. Yeah, come here on Bells. A wee bit unlucky there from Ryan. Probably too easy from Kelly Beggs. Won't be happy with that there. But I think Kelly Beggs need to ask more questions here of Kilkar here. Corey Byrne goes long again, pushing the back yeah, of the little car. The referee it. didn't see it in this occasion. Hugh McFadden kind of lucky. And it's um, Christopher Mulligan. Mulligan. Is it a free out? Yeah, rare call there by Seamus McGonagall again. I think he's signalled the wrong way, I think. This match coming live in Chaconnell Park in Donegal Town. It's St. Nall's manager Brian McCabe with myself, Kieran Cannon on commentary. Kelly Beggs ahead of John Smuff on camera. A busy day for the young Kelly Wegsman. He's back in Fantra for the second of the quarter finals. A Rua Bali Shannon taking on Gidor. Half past three. A match that you can watch live on the official Donegal J page. Is this Q is this McFadden range? Uh, yeah, play? you'll be hoping maybe Q is just right nearly bang on the 45. And Kelly Beggs need to score to try to settle into the game. Surprised that young Con uh, Connor Cunningham's not kicking it. Q McFadden, the right uh, forever. Brilliant. Kevin Campbell looks over. Oh, Kieran McGinley, Kieran McGinley. Goes very well. A high fetch from Kieran McGinley. Fairness, Kieran McGinley started the game really well. He's kicked the score. He's caught a mark and he's took that from under his own crossbar. Yeah, one of the best club players in Donegal over the last decade is certainly Kieran McGinley, Conor Doherty, Doherty to Ryan McShane. McShane may have number four on his back, but he's certainly no stranger in the opposition half of the field through this youth championship. Hey, Kieran McGinley's going again. Yeah, Ryan McShane. McShane gives it close to McGinley. McGinley, does he have an option? Right for effort from McGinley. Fantastic score. But no problem for Kieran McGinley. Absolutely no problem at all. That's Kilcar fourth. It's Kieran McGinley second. That's that blue and gold to Kilcar four. That's their neighbours. Kelly Beggs no score. 11 yeah, minutes in the clock. 30 seconds ago, Kieran McGinley caught the ball under his own crossbar. He's kicked that in over the bar. He's kicked two points. He's a standout player here at the moment, uh, Kieran. Kieran McGinley, 30... Uh, 33 years of age, correct me if I'm wrong, he's the oldest player on the pitch, but oh my god, two points and certainly the main player of the match so far. Oh. Good ball in towards Ryan Cunningham, beat Barry Shovel that ball, Cunningham back to the wing half back, John Ban Gallagher, John Ban Gallagher the right foot, as Kelly Beggs for score, there's 11 and a half minutes, a good work, well yeah, worked, really, there worked the really well worked there, first time Kelly Beggs got the right ball in there, and it goes Connor Cunningham, very unlucky that he slipped, there was probably a half chance of a goal there, but good score by John. On Banff. Kevin Campbell in no hurry with the kick out. The kill uh, goalkeeper. I think this is Kelly Carr's first kick out, so it'll be interesting to see whether they're going to go long or yeah. how's it going to go. Kieran McGinley is up there. Jason Campbell is the side of the pitch, the tallest kill on the on the squad. John Ban Gallagher marshalling him. Kevin Campbell goes to his brother. His brother is Jason. Jason Campbell up a good, good walk for Jason Campbell. Pans it down to Andrew McLean. The two 26 year olds combining. McLean. Paddy McBurdy in there to Ryan McHugh. McHugh. Patrick McBurdy. Right foot solo for McBurdy. Jason Campbell. Campbell. That's uh, Ryan Owen McHugh on the terrace side of the park. He locks up. Bring well blocked. blocked. Well Bring blocked. Block. I think it's Owen Ban. No, it's not Owen Ban Gallagher. John Ban. Uh, John Ban, possibly, yeah. Oh. Kilcar another chance to attack. McLean. McShane. Ryan McHugh. Back to Ryan McShane. Getting in a lot of ball. Back to Ryan McHugh. There's a goal chance on for Kilcar. On. Ryan McHugh hops the ball. Ryan McHugh. Right for Ryan goal. A goal for Ryan McHugh. I always say we go and Ryan gets a pick of that famous team to a park in 2014. That's a well worked move involving Ryan McHugh and Brilliant. Ryan McShane. Brilliant, a great Brilliant Ryan McHugh. finish. Brilliant finish. But uh, Ryan McShane done really well. 1 2 with Ryan McHugh, but a fantastic finish from Ryan. Uh, big score. Kelly Waves kind of got a half a block down there, but Kil Kilcar won possession back, so that's a huge score. That's a gr uh, great goal there for Ryan McHugh. Connor Cunningham is not happy with Paddy McBurdy. <laughs> Kelly Beggs attack, looking for the second score. Driving forward is Jack McSharry, is it? Young no, Gaul, is young it? Young Sean Gaul. Gaul back to. That's a good kick, is it? Uh, Ryan Collier. Dangerous one. And Ke Kevin Campbell 
does enough to keep it in the field of play. An effort there from Rory Collier. Collier, of course, a, a first cousin of former Finn Harps captain Declan Boyle, a nephew of well known Kil Killybegs J man Baker Boyle. Kilcar walking well out the back. Good yeah, yeah, things yeah, up the really, back. Done really well there. I think Kevin Campbell didn't know a lot about that high ball, but fairness, him, he done really well. And Kilcar on the tack again through Owen McHugh. Brilliant ball inside to Connor Dog. Doherty. Connor Doherty. Who does he have as an option? He has Owen McHugh as an option. Owen McHugh lays it off to his cousin Ryan McHugh. Kieran McGinley is coming into the equation as he has in nearly all the moves, but decides to use Andrew McLean. McLean uses Jason Campbell, the younger of the two Campbell brothers, Kevin's and Goals. Jason Campbell to Owen Cormick. Cormick to Ryan McShane as McShane driving forward to this side of the field on this occasion. Will he give it to Daniel Lyons? Uh, will do lucky to retain possession. He just about manages that, but Seamus McGonigal, Brian McCabe, a <laughs> awards a three out. Yeah, come here, Kil Kilcar won't be happy with that because Ryan McShane was probably in a position where he should offload at the ball. Uh, you know, they didn't get nothing out of it after being in the road and Kelly Beggs 21, but Kelly Beggs are in the tack here. Kelly Beggs need a few scores because this game could get away from them fairly handy, Kieran. There was general consensus ahead of this one that it would be a close for at least the first half, but Kilcar certainly quick as out of the blocks. Another goal chance for Kenny Beggs. He decides to fist it over the Good bar. Good score. I'm making a fisted point from Q McFadden. Yeah, the far side of the pitch. Brilliant, brilliant move by Owen Ban. It's the first time he got up the field. I think Kelly Beggs will need Owen Ban for it. I think, I, think, um, I think they might have made the change now. Like young Kelly is gone on Paddy McBerty, so Owen Ban seems to have gone to the wing uh, centre half back, so be interested to see what will happen now. 1-4 to Kilcar, 2 points to Kelly Beggs. That yeah, goal really, comes from Ryan McHugh. Up, they seem to have pushed uh, Owen Ban up, up the field here, so... Kelly Beggs doing Owen well in the kick out this time. Mulligan. Mulligan, coming into this match it has to be said. Connor Cunningham, what an informed championship he has to date. Looks up with his brother in there, Ryan. Yeah, they're Q McFadden's on, on, on the edge of the square now. Well worked from the Kilcar point of yeah, view. Yeah, good defending, good defending. Number two is Paul Cal. Good work for the experienced defender as Kieran McGinley just about gets it away to Ryan McShane, to Jason Campbell. Jason Campbell locked up. A good neat pass to Connor Doherty. Connor oh, Doherty beats Connor his man. Ryan Carr beats. Switches it across. Kilcar certainly impressive switching ah, play, they, Brian. Yeah, from side to side. They're controlling the ball. You know, they're getting right there. You know, ball on side's really good too. Paddy has it at the moment. Connor doc has been really, really busy. You know, he's getting on the side of the ball. Fairness, Kilcar. Everyone's really playing well, you know. Yeah. That is the voice of Brian McCabe. Join St. Nall's manager. We'll talk to him about his native club in just a second. Before half time, Kieran McGinley. McGinley. Paddy McBurney. McBurney to Ryan McHugh. P maybe the pass is over quick and another goal chance for the blue and gold Ryan McHugh a good save from Corey Martin was a goal yeah, on there it definitely was I think Ryan probably should have went down in the ball and, and picked it up uh, he won't be happy that he didn't put that in the way big chance um, the fairest probably the keeper done quite well John Ban, Gallagher and Q McFadden with Kelly Beggs two points Ryan McHugh getting the big goal on the 13th minute that's one for um, Kilcar two points to Kelly Beggs that's Connor Cunningham Kicks it in towards Q McFadden out in front of Brian O'Donnell. Q McFadden far side of the pitch, 20 yards out, looks up, decides to go back to give it to Ryan Carr. Carr to Killian Gilday. Killian Gilday, 45 yards, sprays it across to young Sean Gall. Gall, one of two Gall brothers in the squad, and that goes out to the left and uh, a poor option yeah, in this case. Totally wrong option there. He went to kick it with outside of his boot, tried to screw it in. But uh, come here, Kelly Beggs. Kelly Beggs need a few scores here before half time. Uh, I think they're trying to isolate Q maybe in the full forward line there on high balls, but I don't, it's not really working at the moment. Kelly Kill will be happy enough. As I say, big quarterfinals this weekend. Guido, they're taking on Bally Shannon at half past three today. A little bit later on this evening in Glenties. That's the meeting of St. Junins and St. Michael's. Barry got away with a wee push there, but Owen Ban and Fairness has overturned it again. Christopher Mulligan. Mulligan to a centre half forward. It's Jack McSharry. McSharry. 40 yards out. 
running at the Kilcar defence right forever from Jack McSharry looks good from here but it's out to the left and wide yeah no, another one there the Kilcar you know, shooter you know, you'd expect Jack McSharry to kick them over but just on the day it didn't happen for him there Kevin Campbell will know how he was to kick out Eight, 19 minutes as we approach 19 minutes here it's Kilcar 1-4 Kitty Beggs 2 points I make it Kilcar's last score was a goal on 13 minutes. Campbell goes to the opposite side this, this time. Yeah, that's three kickouts in a row. Kilcar or Kilcar Beggs have overturned Ki Kil or Kilcar, and so that's you know the wee bit of hope there for them. And the big thing they're leaving Kui inside. It's John Ban Gallagher, brother of brother of Owen Ban, John Ban, right for effort. And that goes out to the right yeah, and wide. And that's Kelly Beggs third wide. Yeah, I think afternoon. that's a third in a row uh, there, Kieran. You know, them three points, you know, there are none of them really hard. You know, they could have another three scores here, though, that are down to a two point game, you know. Keep an eye on the wide count. Kilka have two wides. A stand to be corrected in that brain, and Kelly Beggs have three wides. Another goal kick for Kilka, hoping to be more successful. And this time. Jason Campbell yeah, wanting two better, kickouts this afternoon. Kick Campbell, to, uh, Owen Cormick. Jason, of course, primarily known as a reserve player up until last season. Got his chance this season and he certainly, certainly has taken it. Ryan McShane to Lions. Back to Campbell. Combining with his midfielder, Kieran McGinley to Ryan McHugh. Brilliant ball inside again. Lovely ball to Patrick McBurdy. Owen. Owen McHugh. McHugh. Does he have Conor Dodd as an option? He's running at the defence. And uh, not, the, not, again, the best, poor, not the best poor, pass in the world, but he had to get Ryan Gallagher there. as well. Yeah, yeah, done really well. Kenny Beggs would be happy enough there. But I thought Owen would have maybe went at, at his man there more. A busy weekend of football here in Donegal. To Ogburn. Burn to Owen Ban Gallagher. The real There's leader on the side. Long the ball and Liv Q McFadden available. But it's Kelly Beggs fourth wide and uh, Kelly Beggs options yeah, not because, the greatest. Yeah, you know, Kilcar, Kilcar haven't really pushed on here, and that's four right, four bad wides in a row by Kelly Beggs here. You know, so we've had more, maybe showed we've had more confidence. They could, uh, you know, be a lot closer here, Kier. Yeah, 21 minutes on the clock as Ed Borden enters the free here to press him. Kevin Campbell, that's Jason Campbell there again. He breaks it down to Daniel Lyons. Yeah, just Daniel, back to Jason Daniel Campbell. Lyons has been very busy on breaking ball and as they say, one and dirty ball for Kilkear. Paddy McBurdy. McBurdy looking for his side's fifth point. Conor Doherty. Kilkear haven't scored since the goal. That was 13 minutes. It's now 22 minutes entering the 22nd minute. Kieran McGinley. Right forever from Kieran McGinley. As it is third of the day. And it's out to the left and wide. It's Kilcar's tower. Yeah, I'm lucky there from Kieran McGinley. Probably, I know Ray McHugh wanted the ball there, but Kieran thought he, he's having that kind of a game. You know, you would think he was going to kick it over the bar, but the kind of game's kind of gone very low, dull here, uh, Kieran. Kick out to Corey Bourne. It's Kieran McGinley there. It's Evan Broderick there. But a Connor Doherty. Down to Connor Doherty. What have you made of the opening 22 minutes, Brian? Ah, come here. I suppose Kilcar are happy enough where they are. They're controlling the game, you know. But at the same time, they haven't really... They're, they're playing within themselves. They haven't really... You know, they've gone nearly 10 minutes without a score now, Kieran. So don't be happy with that. But, you know, they're still well in control of the game. Owen McHugh. Oh, that's a lovely ever from Owen McHugh. Brilliant Two score. Kitty defenders in front of him. But it goes right to the wide. Now make that a commentator's course. Owen McHugh pleads for a free kick off the yeah, referee. Very, un going very unlucky there from uh, Owen McHugh. Sold two Kelly Beggs men and dummy there. And probably could have got Kijimis McGonigal could have given him a free there, which uh, Owen was looking for, but very unlucky. Owen McHugh sat out the early half of the league, or most part of the league, and well, certainly done, done himself no harm given his performance in the championship. Seamus McGonigal notices a push in the back, and it's a free to kill Kia. Hugh McFadden nearly got away with it, but yeah, not nearly got occasion. away with it. But I think, in fairness to Kui, I think he pushed uh, uh, Brian O'Donnell in the back there, you know. Brian O'Donnell, a young Kilcar captain, O'Donnell, to Ryan McShane. McShane 
Great, great championship performances to date. To Brian O'Donnell, up leading by example, up from the back. Lays it off to Paddy McBurney. Paddy McBurney fists it. He fists it, does he fist it over the bar? Yes, he does. Brilliant it's score. Patrick McBurney's second point. It's yeah. Kilcow 1 5. Super, it's, um, super, it's work, it's super work points. there by Brian O'Donnell. You know, he got pushed on the back, this near side, for the for the free kick, and he got on the ball on the far side. Showed great, great uh, confidence there to slip Paddy in, and a good score from Paddy. Corey Byrne goes short to his corner back is Seamus Ogborn. Many people would feel that Ogborn will be in the uh, extent the county squad for 2023. We're not going to start talking county, we'll be here till next week. But anyway, yeah. here's Darren McLean, 25 at his back, first cousin of Kilkar, Andrew McLean. Darren McLean. McLean. worked by Connor Dock again, putting real, putting real pressure on the, on the Killy Beggs player yeah. on the ball. You know, the work rate of Killy, uh, Kilkar players is really, really good. Especially Connor Dock and Daniel Lyons. They seem to be their two workhorses. Killy Beggs looking for the third score. Go, go back to John Ban Gallagher. Ban Gallagher to Q McFadden. He had to come out from the edge of the square to get more ball. Kicks it towards Ryan Cunningham, the former fan Hubs you've start. Ryan Cunningham. Lays it off to his brother Connor Cunningham Good and score. Connor Cunningham. Great score from Connor Cunningham. That's Kelly Beggs' third point. It's Connor Cunningham. Yeah, first score. That's one five to Clarence. Kelly Beggs three yeah, points. Good score there from Ryan Cunningham. You know, probably got Connor Cunningham probably got away with over carrying the ball there, but good score from Kelly Beggs and they'll probably be looking to tag on another few before half time here. Kelly Carr have gone short to Mark McHugh on the kick out. Ryan McHugh. Back to his brother Mike. I told you about the three quarter finals today, one remaining one tomorrow. It's live on TG Car, the men from the Glen making the short trip to Leather Kenny to face last year's beating finalist Neve Connell. That one throws in at half past two. Daniel Lyons. Yeah, Daniel Lyons is getting an absolute side of ball here, you know. And I don't know, Car or Kelly Beg seem to be happy to let him get on it, but. When you have a player, he's offloaded the ball to Ryan McHugh and McHugh, Ryan's Ryan McHugh, right forever. Will he go with the right foot? Yes, he does. Unlucky, but no problem unlucky, for Coeburn. Unlucky there again from Ryan. No, he, he, probably could, he probably should have offloaded it, but at the same time, Ryan would have been thinking about kicking that in over the bar. You know, dropped it short, but he's going really well, Ryan, here. He's sharing for Gonigal, the man in the middle. And as Val Murray and Shane Tulin are the linesman for this encounter. Ryan Carr, Carr to Killian Kildee. Yeah, they're going long again. Goes long with well, that. No problem for Mark McHugh. McHugh. It reminds me of 2012, yeah, 10 years yeah. ago. Mark, Mark's probably as good a player in the county as doing that there, you know. Sat in front of the full back line, swept the ball up. Uh, Paddy McBurney doesn't sec come out second best on this occasion as Ryan Rui Collier wins the ball. Collier to his midfield partner, Evan Broderick. Oh, yeah, Kill, 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 Kelly Beggs seem to be thinking that they can, uh, you know, but high ball in on top of the Kilkar full back line that seem to be kind of that seems to be a big a big Mull uh, option for them you know Mulligan dri driving forward Jack, Jack, Jack Mashari Jack Mashari closing down 10 yards in goal Jack Mashari good defending from Kilkar but it's not danger and Ryan Cunningham but Kevin Campbell is there it's a weak enough effort palmed in from Ryan Cunningham yeah, but Kevin be, Campbell is there yeah, Kevin Campbell done really well there. there half a goal chance there. You know, Jack McCherry done really well coming in along the byline. But fairness to uh, Kevin Campbell, he done really well there. So, you know, it was half a goal chance there from Kelly Beggs. Jason Campbell, better known in the locality of the South West as Big Jail. Campbell, 26 years of age. Kieran McGinley to Mike McHugh. McHugh to the team captain. The team captain is Brian O'Donnell. Dad John was a, a great defender back in the day as well. Here to Mike McHugh. I don't think his dad is a bad footballer either. <laughs> Jason Campbell. Campbell to Ryan. Is it Ryan? Ryan, Ryan McShane. Ryan McShane. McShane. Lays it off to Mike McHugh. McHugh to Kieran McGinley. McGinley driving forward. He's an option, Paddy McBurney was looking for it. Decides to do it himself. McGinley, a weaker left foot from Kieran McGinley. That's a great score from Kilcar. Kieran McGinley, 28 minutes on the clock. I make it Kieran McGinley's third. That's Kilcar, 1-6. Killy Beggs, yeah, 3 points. Yeah, fantastic score from Kieran McGinley. 3 points in the middle of the field. You know, he, he, probably, he probably kicked that in with his weaker foot, but no problem to Kieran. He tapped it over the bar. You know, Killy Beggs just... Beggs. Uh, don't seem to be fit to get the grips with Kieran McGinley. Off the kick out. 
Paddy McBurney, 45 yards out, far side of the pitch, solo to the right, solo to the left. Famous loop, it's the famous loop coming up, is there another point coming Fantastic. up? Yes, there is, that's a great score, a blue and gold to Kilta, 1-7, it's Kelly Beggs, 3 points, I make it Patrick McBurty's third of the afternoon. Yeah, come here, brilliant score from Paddy, Paddy's doing that for years, you know, coming in onto the left peg there, you know, Kilka, Kelly Beggs had a half a goal chance at the far end about a minute ago, and f- from that at- next attack, Kilkar have kicked on 2 points. Corey Bourne, Ryan McShane keeping Hugh McFadden company. Ryan McHugh rather keeping Q McFadden company but if Tiltow wanting another break Kim McGillie's jersey was pulled no says Stephen McGonagall Jason Campbell cleans up possession and Seamus McGonagall blows his water so it may be a free out and yeah, a great workman performance yeah, yeah, yeah. so far from Jason yeah, Campbell really good. yeah Kelly Carr doing really well on breaking ball you know I think Kelly Beggs might have only won one break there you know Kelly Carr I would say at this, this stage are in double figures nearly you know Jason Campbell's been on a big shift there around the middle uh Still, the Daniel Lyons one that he's getting on an absolute side of ball here. Uh, he's on it again. He's on it again. You know, he's yeah. pulling all the strings. You know, Kilkar just pulling the strings as they want. Daniel Lyons, son of Kevin Lyons, championship winner in '93, managed four masters, managed Kilkar, managed Lee Walton 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 as well. Harsh call there on Connor Doc, I think it was. Sean Gall, Timmy Gall, his younger brother, as part of the substitutes. Gall. Seamus Ogborn. Ogborn has John Ban Gallagher uh, uh, for, for support. Will he use him? He will. In front of the Kilkar dugout. Owen Cormac, Marshall Ningham. McSharry. McSharry to Connor Cunningham. Cunningham. Will he try one with his right? He won't. He'll give it to Ryan Carr, the cornerback. What number four can do at one end. Ryan, Mc, my Ryan McShane. Ryan Carr can do it at the other end. Number four on his back as well. 1 7 Kilkar. Four points, Kelly yeah, Beggs. R- really, really good score there from Kelly Beggs. You know, they worked the ball through the lines. Uh, really good score. We're just entering entry time here. 1 7 to Kilkar. Four points, two. The fisherman of Kitty Beggs, Campbell with the kick out. Will he connect with his brother Jason? Up goes Jason, no brilliant, problem. Brilliant. A good fetch by Jason Campbell. Yeah, really well. Good play again by Jason Campbell. He seemed to be targeting him on kick outs, and he's done really well on Kilkar's kick outs. Yeah, the word most improved enters my head. And ho- hopefully, I don't be. Hopefully, <laughs> people won't mind me saying that. Back to Mark McHugh. And there goes the half time whistle. And Donegal Town 1 7 to Kilcar, 4 points to Kelly Beggs. Kieran McGinley has 3 points. Paddy McBurty has 3 points. Ryan, Mc, Ryan McHugh has 1 1 um, for the blue and gold. And, um, and for 4 Kelly Beggs, 4 Kelly Beggs, the 4 points to Kelly Beggs. Well, John Ban Gallagher got the first point. Q McFadden got the second point. Connor Cunningham got. Uh, Kelly Beggs third point and Ryan Carr up from corner back got Kelly Beggs fourth point Bef- before we hand back for a commercial break B- Brian McCabe what have you made of the opening ah, half hour Kilkar will be happy enough Paddy or, or Kieran they're six up at half time probably playing playing within themselves you know uh, they're really they're probably just playing in third gear they haven't cut loose yet you know and they're still six up so they'll be happy enough you know uh, Kelly Beggs probably probably should have another few scores there like they've kicked three poor wide you know but at the same time I think Kilkar or Paddy will be happy enough where they're at that is the voice of Brian McCabe my voice is Kieran Cannon at half time here in Chocorrell Park in Donegal Town 1-7 for Kilkar 4 points to Kelly Beggs do join us live on Facebook for second half commentary Donegal GAA, Donegal LGFA, our message is same, respect one, respect all, we all love this game, every county, every person, every coach, every game, respect one, respect all, let's make this our aim. Our referee, come on, that was a shocking decision, that was terrible, outrageous. Respect one.
Donegal GAA. Donegal LGFA. Our message? The same. Respect one. Respect all. We all love this game. Every country. Every person. Every coat. Every game. Respect one. Respect all. Let's make this our aim. Our oh, referee, come on. That was a shocking decision. That was terrible. Outrageous. Respect one.
Welcome back to Chicano Park here and Donegal T Town. The teams is out. I don't notice any change on either side. Damien Carr is keeping me up to date. There may be a change on the Kelly Bag side. We will inform you that in Number just 22. a moment. Damien Carr is stealing my programme, not for the first time this afternoon, but I will forgive him. Kelly Beggs are bringing on Niall Campbell instead of Rory Collier for Kilcar. I don't think there's any change in the Kilcar team. Seamus McGonagall about to throw up the ball. Q McFadden's out in the middle of the second half. The game is on. And it's Kieran McGinley winning the first throw up. Owen McHugh. McHugh. Taking on that Kelly Beggs defence. Right foot solo for Moan McHugh. Brian McCabe, what does Kelly Beggs need to do in the second half that they didn't do in the first? Hey, they're probably going to push out on Kilcar and probably ask more questions. I mean, maybe go a wee bit more direct. You know, we'll see QE's out around the middle of the field now. I think it's Jack McSharry. has gone inside for them, but come here, a few scores in Kilcar. I'll be get away from them. So, first few scores are going to be important here, Kieran. K Kieran McGinley to Owen Cormick. A good first half for Owen Cormick. He's three points this year's championship so far. He deserves a point in this game. Brian O'Donnell, the captain. As he fouled by Q McFadden, Owen McCormick, Cormick, back to Ryan McShane, he looks up. And Kilcar having all the possession in the first half, 53 seconds gone. In the second half, 1-7 to Kilcar, 4 points to Kelly Beggs, as Andrew McLean driving forward, taking on Jack McSharry. McLean to Paddy McBurney, left foot from Patrick McBurney, it looks good from here, the Kilcar cheer says it all, that's Patrick McBurney's 4th point of the afternoon, 1-8 to Kilcar, 4 points to Kelly Beggs. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic score again there from Paddy, you know, waited, waited on the loop to come and he just got on it and kicked it over the bar and made big score there for Kil Kilcar. Well, Corey Byrne, Byrne, who's up there? Looks at like Q McFadden taking on Brian O'Donnell, there's a wee height advantage there. McFadden, does he have a man inside? Is Conor Cunningham in there? Goes short, goes short to young, uh, I think it's Mulligan, I think it's Christopher Mulligan. On the squad, Gary Duffy's on the 20 squad this year. Still on the edge next year, hoping for big things as Og Byrne switches it across to Ban Gallagher, John Ban Gallagher. Gallagher to the substitute Niall Campbell Campbell a half time substitute to Evan Broderick Broderick a permanent th uh, name on the Kelly Beggs team over the last number of years Goral a young Goral to M Mulligan as he fouled yes he's shimmed from Gonigal and it's certainly a scoreable opportunity for Kelly Beggs Brian yeah I think there was Mark of that in a way you know it was a wee bit unnecessary I don't think uh, I think uh, Christopher Mulligan was going to go to ground there anyway but Mark seemed to step across him so come here, Kelly Beggs need every score they can get, and they'll be hoping Kiwi can tap this and over the bar because, uh, as I say, they're one eight to four down, so they're going to need to get a few scores fairly quick here. Kieran, Q McFadden going for second score of the day. And that was no problem for the county man, and it's uh, the primary school teacher gets Kelly Beggs scoring the count off in the second half. Two as we enter the third minute, one eight to Kilcar, five points to Kelly Beggs, and well. Some names on the Kilcar bench will be familiar with. Stephen McBurdy is there. Mike Swinney uh, is there for Kilcar as well. As is Owen Dugan. There's experience in the Kelly Beggs bench. Mooner is there. Christopher Martin. Anthony O'Hara, the manager. He's the sub goalkeeper. Kelly Beggs driving forward. Kilcar driving forward to Ryan McShane. McShane to Conor Doherty. Far side of the pitch. 45 yards there to Owen Cormick. Cormick to Kieran McGinley. McGinley to his team captain, his team captain is Brian O'Donnell, he guided his native parish to the All-County League a number of months back. He'll be looking to do at least one more route now in the end of the year, Paddy McBurdy. Back to O'Donnell, O'Donnell to Andrew, Andrew um, McLean. McLean, does he have an option? And Brian O'Donnell, Owen McHugh. Paddy McBurdy, left foot solo, taking on his defender. A free in for Kilcar. Owen Barn is judged to a foul. Patrick McBurdy, the Kelly Beggs, and is on top. Eh? Brian McCabe, what did he make yeah, of that? I think Paddy bought that because the one before that he probably didn't get. But I think that was harsh there, Owen Barn. You know, he stood Paddy McBurdy up, and Seamus McGonigal, I don't know where he got that in from, Kieran. Paddy McBurdy, going for his fifth score of the day. The famous left boot in front of the Kilcar dugout. Tw about 20 yards out. 
Kevs the Kelly back toward the shirt. Where is he kicking it from? Left foot ever from a birdie. Looks good from here. It's Kel Kars. It is Paddy Birdie's fifth score. Kilcar 1-9, Kelly Beggs 5 points. Yeah, Paddy's never going to miss them. And I just see things weren't bad enough for Kelly Beggs. I see Stephen McBerty getting ready to go here. So just shows you the strength and depth that Kilcar have when you can uh, take on a player like Stephen McBerty. Stephen McBerty. Bad, bad tackle there by Jason Campbell. Bad tackle in Jason Campbell. Only going to the referee's notebook. Campbell, a very encouraging, a good display in the first half. Stephen McBrady about to enter the fray. He played in the all Ireland minor final for Donegal in 2014 against Kerry. Had a good performance against Dublin in that semi-final. Yellow card for Jason Campbell. As Stephen McBrady is about to enter the fray. Struggled with injury. Played his first full game of the year against Bundorn. Came on against Ardra. 26 years of age is Stephen McBrady. On with the play we go, it's Kelly Beggs attacking to Niall Campbell. Niall Campbell puts one in towards Jack McCharry, closely marshaled by Poirot Carr. McCharry taking on um, Poirot Carr. Far side of the pitch. Yes, uh, Kelly Kil 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 Be Kil Beggs are finding it hard to break Kel Carr down. Kel Carr playing with a lot of men behind the ball here at the moment. Ban Gallagher gives it to Christopher Mulligan. Mulligan out to Tim oh, Sean Gall. Gall to Jack McSharry McSharry to Evan Broderick getting a lot of ball in the second half Manus Boyle and Barry McGowan two experienced men assisting Anthony O'Hara what a club man Anthony O'Hara has played in goals for many a year Niall Campbell Niall Campbell right for effort from the substitute it looks okay from here and it goes out to the right and wide as Damien Carr nods his head 1-9 to kill Carr 5 points to Kelly Bag. Stephen McBurley enters the free Brian McCabe who's coming off yeah we'll see it could be uh, Daniel Daniel Lyons or is it or no it's uh, number 10 Owen oh, Cormick yeah. he can be pleased over his Performance? Yeah, he had a very good first half. He got on a lot of ball in the first half, so he'll be happy enough for his performance. Kalkar supporters, happy with the display of that young man. Yeah, Kevin big, Campbell. Yeah, big sub. You know, you'd be expecting pa or Steve McBerty now to really get into this game. It's, uh, you know, it's a good game to come into. Jason Campbell, as we've seen a few times in the first half, raising highest and winning that ball. Yeah, brilliant fetch there from Jason Campbell. He's done it a few times. He's got on a lot of kickouts here for Kilcare. Yeah. Jason, that's an example of hard work. Massive shout out to Jason's sister Shauna, watching live from England. Jason's granddad turned 99 during the week in Glenties. Great milestone in his life, Kieran McGinley. McGinley taking on the Kelly Bags defender, right foot throw from Kieran McGinley. Brian, or Jim McGonagall, a judge McGinley to over Kelly. McGinley not too pleased with that decision. Right calls, in your opinion, Brian? Ah, uh, could be. He probably overcarried the ball, but I think he might have been fouled before that. You know, Seamus McGinley just seems to be letting them kind of wee things go away bit, but I think, in fairness, Kieran probably overcarried it that they end up there. Good ball, and I think it's from Owen Ban Gallagher. Q McFadden is in there with a push in the back, and the Kilcar defender. Nevertheless, Barry Shovelin cleans up, gives it to his neighbour. His neighbour is Mike McHugh. Mike McHugh. Goes across the goal to Kevin Campbell. Campbell comfortable on the ball. He played centre half forward for Bunkrana in the Intermediate Championship in 2017. He played outfield for Kilcar and the Camarth as penalty guilty to down 08. Owen McHugh. McHugh. Good ball in. Paddy McBurney, he's two kitty bags, made for close attention. He beats the two and he leaves it off the line. McHugh, he the goal to his name already. Gives it across the corridor. And good defending from Kelly Beggs and managed to, to keep that one out as Owen Barn Gallagher and Brian McCabe another goal chance goes to Beg in for the balloon goal brilliant move you know Paddy Paddy collected the ball inside offloaded it to Ryan who went to play it to Connor Dock Jack McSharry Owen Barn Gallagher sorry for cutting across the Owen Barn Gallagher good big defending from Kilcar yeah big turnover there from Kilcar you know on Owen Barn uh, the game seems to be he heating it up a wee bit there's a wee bit of stuff going on here now yeah, certainly championship battle, local rivals as Owen Dugan is coming on. We have nine minutes on the clock. Owen Dugan, starter last year for Kilcar. His uncle John 
He um, he captained Kilcarra the championship in 1989. Barry Shovel makes way the 33 year old defender. He might like to say that he's not 33 the next month. That's Conor Doherty. Doherty, halfway line, centre half forward. So 20 minutes remaining. 1 9 to Kilcar at 5 points to Kelly Beggs. O'Donnell to Andrew McLean, Mooner, Christopher Mooner, more experienced man for Kelly Beggs. Also a joint manager of St. Catherine's soccer team as Paddy McBurdy. McBurdy will he use Owen McHugh as an option? Gives it into his Ryan McShane. McShane. Does he have a left 40? Lays it across to Andrew McLean. Andrew McLean, no problem. Putting the ball over the bar for and ball. it's out to the right and wide. Another um, a scoring opportunity goes in yeah, massive. That's Christian Wallach, that's Christopher Martin coming on the pitch. Yeah, you would expect Andrew McLean to kick that and over the bar. Ryan McShane's been really impressive for Kikar, cornerback. Cut up the field and uh, offloaded the ball to uh, Andrew McLean. And you would expect it, Andrew, to finish that one. Good ball in for Niall Campbell to Hugh McFadden. Hugh McFadden, a real leader in this Kelly Beggs side, top scorer in this youth championship. Coming into this and kind of 3 18 to his name as Mark McHugh. McHugh back what he does best, cleaning up possession, mopping it up. Brilliant play there from Brian O'Donnell, you know, who robbed Kerry McFadden on a on an at on a tackle there, you know, brilliant Mc play from the Brody brothers combining Stephen to Paddy, Paddy to Jason Campbell. But Kelly and Gilday out in front of this occasion. Welcome along if you're just watching us live on Facebook. Chaconnell Park in Donegal Town is a local derby. It's the county quarter final. And Michael Murphy, sports and leisure. Neighbours Kilcar taking on Kelly Beggs. It's his advantage, Kilcar. 1 9, Kelly Beggs, 5 points. Shields McGonagall giving that a free to Kelly Beggs. Manus Boyle shouting on instructions. Christopher Martin. Good experience to call upon. Yeah, right. crap, uh, Mooner's been about the block for long enough. You know, he's a big player for Kelly Beggs. He's a great servant to, like, to the Kelly Beggs club, you know. Uh, I know Kilcar, Kilcar don't seem to be happy with that decision there. You know, the free was moved in there. I don't know what really went on, but Q needs to land this and two to get it back to a six point game. Hey, Q McFadden. Looking for Kelly Beggs' first score of the second half. We have 12 minutes on the clock. Hugh McFadden out to the right and wide. Poor by Hugh McFadden standards. And uh, as I say, Hugh McFadden, three, three goals and 18 points. And that's his championship so far. He's three goals and, and uh, 20 points. And that's his championship so far. Ryan McHugh speaking to Val Murray. Yeah, the CBB. I think Ryan ran across. I think Ryan ran across the... Cross Q McFadden when he was kicking the kicking the free and Kelly Beggs don't seem to be happy about it. Kelly Beggs not too happy uh, about that. Charlie Breslin has come on for Kelly Beggs. Manus Boyle and Byron no. McGowan not too happy yeah, with Manus, that decision. Manus, Manus doesn't seem to be happy with it at all. Is there sub on the Kelly Beggs team? Yeah, yeah. Charlie Brethren is on, yeah. Christopher Mulligan is off. Yeah, in fairness, Christopher Mulligan, he's good enough, you know, for a young lad, he should be happy with his performance. Barry O'Hagan, the Armagh all in at 1 and 05, a good addition by Conor Cunningham. Cunningham on his first year in charge of the seniors in Kilcar. He managed Kilcar reserves in 2017 and in 2020. Yeah, Kelly Beggs have made the decision to take uh, own ban out the field. They've gone with uh, Young Kilday and Paddy McBurty, so they seem to be, go you know, they have to go for the game here. Oh, burn, burn. Good defending by Jail Campbell. Hugh McFadden, Hugh McFadden, does he have Jack McSharry? No, he gives it to Ryan Carr. These sides meeting in the championship in 2019 at the quarter final stages as well. Kilcar coming out on top of that one. That one was live on TV. RTE. Kelly Beggs driving forward to Charlie Breslin. Is it over Karen from the young substitute? Yes, she's Jimmy from Gonigal. And uh, Kilcar now, Stephen McBurney. McBurney looks up a very direct footballer, driving forward, right foot solo. Gives it to Jason Campbell. Campbell goes back to Owen McHugh as the manager for Kilcar shouting words to press. 
Some yeah, new, yeah. new terminology in the J with yeah. our fusion. But uh, no, I could be here. Kelly Carr would be very happy defensively. I think that's three in a row they've over, uh, turned over Kelly Beggs, you know. Uh, but Kel Kel Kiar, you know, will be happy with their defence. Only conceded five points over nearly at the 45th minute here. You know, so that's really good from their point of view. Mike McHugh, two. Owen McHugh. McHugh Cousins combining. Paddy McBurdy. Ah, oh, Paddy McBurdy out of his very best. That's, and it's off the upright. And uh, Paddy McBurdy, I thought sure that was over, but not on this occasion so far. Uh, Paddy McBurdy has four, uh, five points to his name. That's Kieran McGinley's young son, young Shimmy McGinley, enters the free in the press box area. One for the future. Brian. 1-9 to Kilcar. Do you see Kilcar pushing forward or do, do you see Kelly Beggs went up a fight? No? Nah, you think that that stage, you know, it's going to take a goal to get Kelly Beggs back into the game. But then once again, you know, Paddy McBurdy, really unlucky there. You know, he done everything right. He just waits, at, he just knows when to get on the ball, you know. And Kil Kilcar been using him really well. Campbell and towards Connor Cunningham. Cunningham, brother of Ryan Cunningham, of course, the Kelly Beggs team. No relation to the Kilcar manager, Connor Cunningham. Free out, Shimmons will go to go. The lines one on the far side is Shane Tulin. Kevin Campbell encouraging his trips. Communication key. And taking this one, I think it's Connor Cunningham on the yeah, far Connor side. Yeah, Connor Cunningham right? on the far side. Uh, in fairness, he's a brilliant striker off the, off of a, of a dead ball. Uh, and you would expect him maybe to nail this one. Looks good enough from here, but it's another wide up for Kelly Beggs. Yeah. Second half, 16 minutes gone, one nine to five points in favour of Kilcar. Yeah, poor wide there from uh, Ryan Con or Connor Conningham. He won't be happy with that. And there, you know, Kelly Beggs had five, six maybe wide. You know that they should uh, should be getting something off. Kevin Campbell goes long with Paddy McBurdy there. He gets a touch on it. He gives it to Ryan McHugh. Ryan McHugh to Owen McHugh. Back to Paddy McBurdy. McBurdy to Ryan McHugh. Right foot solo. On to the left, Daniel Lyons, what a first half he had, rather quiet in the, in the uh, second half, Stephen McBurdy, number 21 in his back, right forever from Stephen McBurdy, and it goes out to the left, and it's another wide for Kilcar, Brian. Yeah, Stephen, you would expect Stephen to have got down there, but the game's got really sloppy here, you know, both teams have missed quite a number of chances there, uh, can even hold the atmosphere even in the stand here Kieran's gone really dead it's going to hire Kelly Beggs need to get a goal here to lift it or something but Hugh McFadden palming it down towards Niall Campbell Niall Campbell puts one in to McSharry McSharry edge of the D right forever from Jack McSharry that's a good point that's what Kelly Beggs needs that's Kelly Beggs first score of the second half they waited 17 minutes for it yeah really good score there by Jack McSharry Big Q done well on a, uh, around the middle there broke the ball and got a good ball inside you know, and there was a runner on Mooner had come through the middle there but Jack McSharry kicked the ball over the bar himself John McInnaf doing great work as PO of the County Board of Donegal, live here on Facebook. John Smith is on camera duties. Charlie Breslin to Owen Ban Gallagher. Welcome everybody live on Facebook. We've only three scores in the second half. 18 minutes gone. Uh, free for Kelly Beggs. Yeah, Omi, Omi Q done really well there, put in a great tackle on uh, on Owen Van Galler, but Owen, Owen gathered the ball again and they got one of three of it, so Q is a chance here to get it back to five. Hugh McFadden from the ground. Can Kelly Beggs get two points in a row in the second half? McFadden, the primary school teacher based in Kelly Beggs, based in Donegal Town rather. McFadden out to the right and wide and it's another wide for Kelly Beggs Darrell O'Donnell entering the free Brian McCabe yeah QE that's two of them and they missed one on the far side that's three frees you know the Kelly Beggs will be thinking you know, should have nailed uh, Darrell O'Donnell coming on here now I think it's Daniel Lyons is coming off Daniel had a brilliant first half really worked the socks off Daniel Lyons getting a, a, a well deserved round of applause 
Owen McHugh, good pass to Mike McHugh, is Ryan McShane is an option, he uses Ryan McShane, 45 yards from goals, McShane will he give it to Darryl O'Donnell, Ryan McShane, laying it off to Ryan O'Donnell, a heavy tackle on the Kilcara cornerback, and no doubt about it, a free in tackle by Seamus Ogborn. Patrick McBurdy, Terry Brown? Yeah, definitely, but Owen McHugh, great fetch from Owen McHugh, and they really ran the ball hard there, and they really moved the ball, um, really good work there from Kilcar. Paddy McBurdy looking for a sixth point of the afternoon. That trusty left boot of his, Conor Cunningham. First year managing Kilcar seniors. A lot of clubs in Donegal, including Kilcar, including Kitty Beg, struggling for a manager earlier on. Conor came in and guiding his club to an all county league. That's a great score from Patrick McBurdy. That's Kilcar 1 10. Kitty Big, six points. Paddy McBurdy, six points. Yeah, that's probably the difference between the two teams is Paddy McBurdy. I don't think he's missed a free all day, you know. And I was going back there, that Kelly Beggs missed three, three frees in a row there. Stephen McBurdy fetches out of there, and Kelly Kilcar seem to be ready to go up the years here. McBurdy, Doherty, McGinley, Kieran McGinley, Connor Doherty, Jason Campbell to Stephen McBurdy. Sprays it across, impressive from Kilcar, spraying the ball across this afternoon, we've seen it a lot in the first half, Mike McHugh puts one in, Muna may be out in front on this occasion, no, Ryan McShane, the young legs of McShane, to Mike McHugh, Brian that gives us opportunity, looking forward to the, the remaining quarterfinals this afternoon, yeah, two seconds, Paddy McBurney left foot effort, as it's Paddy McBurney, seven yeah. point to the left boot, that's a great score from Patrick McBurney! 1-11 to Kilcar, 6 points to Kitty Beggs, Paddy was 7. Ah, fantastic score there from Paddy McBurdy, you know, he's a joy to watch when he can, when, oh, 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 some of the stuff he can do, you know. He, he, Paddy doesn't need a second chance when you, you know, that's a fantastic score. Big crowd here in Donegal, in Donegal town, well over the 1500 mark. And uh, uh, two more quarterfinals coming up later on. We will talk about those in just a second. Jack McCharry halfway line, looking to break it into the Kilcar half of the field. Ryan Carr, Carr. Will he use Evan Broderick? Not in this occasion. He'll use own Ban Gallagher. Number six is back. The county man, 20 yards and goals, charging forward. Ban Gallagher, right for solo. And they goal on Ryan Carr. Carr number four up from cornerback. Kitty makes a pill for a penalty. Seamus McGonigal gives a penalty. Brian McCabe, what do you make of that? You know, Seamus McGonigal seemed to be a long way from it to call it, but he's given it anyway. And I don't know, is it to kind of to make up for a few that he didn't give earlier, but penalty's given. A penalty for Kelly Beggs. Brian did speak about a goal a few moments ago. Kilcar will be disappointed with that. Kevin Campbell, Kilcar goalkeeper. Mooner, Crystal Moran is having words with Andy McLean. 22 minutes on the clock. Kilcar 111. Kelly Beggs 6 points. Is it Connor Cunningham? Yes, Connor Cunningham has taken that Kelly Beggs penalty. Kevin Campbell is. Wishing them all the best, no doubt. I guess big Q McFadden. McFadden. The county man. A soccer career of Sligo Rovers. He also was in the books of Finn Harps. So he was in the showgrounds lately. His photograph was up the back of the stands. Kevin Campbell, the Kilcar, cool by her. Kenny Beggs. Lan Tossy, full forward. Q McFadden against Kevin Campbell. McFadden. He's taking his time. He steps up. Right foot effort for Q McFadden. No problem. Sends Kevin Campbell the wrong way. 1-11 to Kilcar. 1-6 to Kelly Beggs. Yeah, well put away. Good good finish by Big Q. He keep her no chance. So, I think we've about ten, uh, eight minutes to go here. So. The Kelly Beggs supporters urging on their trip. This is South West local derby. Q McFadden. He has 1-1 to his name so far. Kelly Beggs supporters, how long? Seamus, up she goes. Campbell to Ryan McShane. Ryan McShane to Kieran McGinley. They need leaders. McGinley. Stephen McBurdy. McBurdy. Taking on two Kelly Beggs defenders. Right foot effort from Stephen McBurdy. And it goes out to the left and wide. Yeah, Stephen won't be happy with that. And done rubbering. Rubbering bar kicking over the bar. Really good break again with Jason Campbell. Uh, Ryan McShane puck up the break. And... Uh, Stephen won't be happy with the finish there, but you know, Kelly Beggs, if Kelly Beggs can nail a point or two, could it give us a big uh, last five minutes? Corey Byrne, Hugh McFadden is there. 
who wants it. McFadden, Ryan McShane challenges Owen McHugh, puts in a tackle, and it's will Jack McSharry pick up the loose ball? Jack McSharry, no problem there for Andrew McLean. McLean to his wing half back. It's number seven, it's Owen Dugan. And for the second half, dangerous ball across the goal line, but Ryan McHugh cleans up. McHugh, and it's a three out for Kilcar. Got away with that one, Brian. Yeah, that was, I don't know what he tried there, but he got away with it. But I know Kelly Beggs aren't happy that for the, the free given on Ryan McShane. And a Ryan McHugh. Kilcar player goes down on the yeah, ground. Right. Yes, Ryan McHugh down. Ryan McHugh, as a referee, Sheriff from Gonigal, goes down to speak to, I think it's Connor Cunningham. And the local stream, another stream later on today will be from Funtra, Guido taking on Aurora. And a live stream tomorrow night as well as the intermediate semi final. Neve Columba Glen Column Kill, they're taking on the Gales from Fanat. Great work from the county board, it has to be said. Brian McCabe. Five minutes remaining. Uh, are you, you going to go for a Kilcar? Are you going to go for a Kilcar? Ah, one? There's only nah, five points in it. Yeah, I think Kilcar, you know, they'll probably kill, they'll be hoping to run the clock down here and maybe tag on another score or two. But fairness to Kelly Beggs, you know, you know this, they've stuck at it, you know, and they probably they probably will be a wee bit disappointed with the, some of the free kicks they missed here. That's uh, Conor Dohore, uh, Paddy McBurney, tackle from John Owen Van Gallagher. McBurdy to McGinley, Kieran McGinley. McGinley, that f huge physique presence driving forward, right for solo. He will need an option. Who will he have? He may have marked McHugh back to the 2012 All Star. McHugh to Poy Carr, Patrick McGillicara to Owen Dugan. Dugan, highly rated. Dugan. Far side of the pitch, 30 yards from goal. Has to go back to Mike McHugh. Mike McHugh <coughs> may have Stephen McBrady as an option. 45 yards. McBrady, right forever from Stephen McBrady. That's easy from a Kelly Beggs point of view. No problem for, for um, from Stephen McBrady. It's back to a six point game. 112 to the blue and gold to Kilcar. It's the Fisherman 1 6. Yeah, great score there by Ryan Mc, or Stephen McBrady. I think that was his third attempt in the, and he's nailed that in there. But great ball rotation from Kilcar. You know, keeping the ball moving, working Kelly Beggs from side to side. Stephen McBrady, first point of the afternoon. Owen McHugh. McHugh. Lovely ball towards Patrick McBurdy. They are pushing the back from Kelly and Gilday. No shit, same as McGonagall. They can the motives. Aren't happy with that decision as Evan Broderick looks to create another attack. Yeah, big call there again. It looked like Paddy was fouled there. But one lad I've been really impressed with is Brian O'Donnell. He's had a great game on Curie McFadden. Steve McBurdy had five points coming into today's encounter. That's six in this year's championship. Owen Ban Gallagher. Ban Gallagher 20 yards out. Good tackle from Kilcar over Carrion, says Jim McGonigal. A free out to Kilcar. Massive shout out to our sponsors this afternoon. Connected, sponsoring the live streams here. And all the streams, there's three live streams this weekend. Funter later on. And Neath Clumber fan it tomorrow. Paddy McBurdy, Paddy McBurdy left foot solo. Killing Gilday, keeping him company, but he might not be able to stop that effort. That's a lovely effort from Patrick McBurdy. I make it eight points from the county man. 113 to Connor Cunningham side, 1 6 to Kelly Biggs. A fantastic score again from Paddy, you know, worked, the, worked kept the ball, he knew where he was going. Um, got inside uh, young Kilday and kicked the ball over the bar for his eighth point of the game. Connor Cunningham shouting on, encouraging his trips. First year in charge. It looks like it's going to take them to a county semi final at least. Owen Ban Galler. Ban Galler, a free, and Jason Campbell's in the ground as well over there. <coughs> but it's a free in to Kelly Beggs. Yeah, and good, uh, good free there to go away from Kieran McGinley. Stop the play. Kieran's been about long enough. He knew they were, he wasn't going to let Owen Ban run down the middle of the field. So, Connor Cunningham. Kelly Beggs, man. Cunningham going for his. I make it looking for a second score. That's a good score from Connor Cunningham. That's Kelly Beggs, 1 7, 113 to kill Carr. 
Yeah, a good, you know, nice score there from uh, Connor Cunningham. But, you know, I think the game's nearly at that stage, you know, Nikhil Kiara home and dry here, you know. Kevin Campbell. Kilka and Kelly Beggs both winning six championships each. Kelly Beggs last championship coming in 1996. Pauk McShay was the team manager. Kilka's last championship coming in 2017. Barry Doherty and we have a substitute coming on for Kelly Beggs. Owen Gallagher. The lively Owen Gallagher coming in for the final couple of moments. Ryan McHugh. Ryan McHugh gives it into Ryan McShane. Ryan McShane may have one of an option. Ryan McShane driving forward. McShane solo to the right. Goes back to Stephen McBurdy as the Kilcar supporters keep the ball, is what we are hearing in Chaconnell Park. Mike McHugh to Kieran McGinley. McGinley, the former county man, the 33 year old. Well won three from Kieran McGinley. McGinley is three points to his name so far this afternoon. Still looking for his first or the second half, I must add. Kieran McGinley, of course, his dad, Sean, was the first ever Kilcar man to lift the Dr. Maguire Cup back in 1980. Yeah, really good player play there by Kieran McGinley. Went out his man and won a free. Paddy's going for his ninth here, you know, when you expect him to kick it, even though it's on his wrong side. But Paddy McBurney, as we enter injury time here. Great to see people from all clubs across Donegal here. In Chaconnell Park. Left foot effort from Patrick McBurney. That goes over the crossbar. Nine points from Patrick McBurney this afternoon. It's Kilkow won 14. It's Kelly Beggs won 6. It's an eight point game as Corey Bourne takes the kick out. Will he go short? Will he go long? He's certainly in no hurry. He goes long. Hugh McFadden's there. Brian O'Donnell's there. Hugh palms it down to one of the substitutes, but he was unsuccessful in winning it. Kilkow, Brian O'Donnell have no problem in winning it. There goes the full time whistle. I make it an eight point victory for Kill Car. Paddy McBurdy with nine points this afternoon. Ryan McHugh's first half goal. Well, that was Kill Car's goal. Q McFadden got the second got the second goal of the match for Kelly Beggs from the penalty spot in the second half. We're going to talk about Kill Car in just a moment, Brian. At Neil Harris said during the week Kelly Beggs were on bonus territory. If you're a Kelly Beggs point of view, what what would be your biggest disappointment of this afternoon? I come here, they probably, you know, that that four or five frees there that they probably should have kicked over the bar, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, Kelly Beggs were probably Kelly Beggs were coming here today looking for a performance and they'll probably be happy enough, you know. I know that I know the penalty kinda of got them back into it, but a few free kicks there, the missing Bobby took a few, few wrong options, but but overall I would say they're happy enough. They're probably happy they made the quarter finals and the, and uh, you know that was probably what they were looking for at the start of the year. Kilcar as their second remember last year they got to the county semi final they were defeated the hands of Neve Connell and O'Donnell Park and Larry Kenny. Struggle to get a manager at the start of the year. Connor Cunningham certainly steadied the ship. He has a trophy in the trophy cabinet already this year in Tony. He'll certainly be looking for another one. How impressed were you with the blue and gold this afternoon? Come here, you have to be really impressed, especially Paddy McBurney. Nine points there today. The uh, some some brilliant scores from him. You know, Ryan was good, Owen was good, uh, Ryan McShane was really good. But the one player that I was really impressed was Brian O'Donnell. You know, man to man, and Q McFadden had done really, really well on him. That's the voice of Brian McCabe. My thanks to John Smith, professional as usual. Brian McCabe, well, maybe his first game as a co-com, it certainly won't be his last. From us all here in Chaconnell Park, Edward Malloy tidies us all up here in Chaconnell Park. He's the main man representing the county board. We're all off to Fantra. From me to you, it's a massive thank you.